Hello students. Today we will perform a new practical that is determination of CMC, critical missile concentration of a given surface active agent. So our aim is to determine critical missile concentration that means CMC of a given surface active agent. So before going that practical, first you have to know what is CMC, what is surfactant. Actually, this practical that is related with chapter interfacial phenomena. So, in theory, uh, you have to study the uh, in details about interfacial tension and interfacial phenomena. So, here that is uh, practical. Just I will give you one overview how to determine CMC. That means critical missile concentrations. So, before that, so you have to know what is the meaning of interface. See that this is figure one figure one beaker that contains some water so this is air this is water so the boundary in between these two that is known as interface for example this water contains one solid so the boundary in between this liquid and solid that means this boundary that is known as interface clear so here this boundary that is also known as air water interface this boundary that is known as air water interface now i have added some surfactant now what is the meaning of surfactant surfactant means that is surface active agent which decreases the surface tension of water which decreases the surface tension of water that is known as surfactant or surface active agent for example initially i have added a small concentration of surfactant in this water so what will happen that surfactant that will adsorb at the surface of this air water interface now the structure of surfactant is like this this see that one polar head is there and one non polar tail is there head that is hydrophilic and tail that is hydrophobic hydrophilic means water soluble or water loving hydrophobic means water hating that is non polar in nature so when we will add surfactant at low concentration it will adsorb at the interface air water interface now again i have added some more amount of surfactant again it will adsorb at the interface but after some time what will happen this air water interface that will be saturated after the saturation point see this is air water at air water interface after saturation point again if i add some more amount of surfactant in this water then micelle formation will start this is called micelle now two types of micelle formation is possible see that this is one type this is another one type see that in this type all that polar head that are situated outside and all that non polar tail that is inside they are arranged like a ball this is called micelle so if all that non polar end that are in the centric positions so then this pocket obviously that will be hydrophobic and outer portion because of presence of hydrophilic head group this, this will be hydrophilic in nature another one arrangement is possible all that polar head that will be arranged like this inside or concentric and all that non polar end that will be arranged like this so in this case this pocket that will be hydrophilic in nature and outside this micelle that will be hydrophobic in nature why because all that non polar end that is outside this micelle so two types of micelle is uh, possible now in this practical we have to determine the minimum concentration of surfactant at which micelle formation starts that is known as critical micelle concentration so what is the definition see that cmc is defined as the concentration range at which micelles are formed by the surface active agent actually this is not a particular point this is a range this is a range the unit of cmc are concentration terms such as w by v or mole per liter or mole per thousand the same formula last practical you have used for determination of 
surface tension that is gamma 1 upon gamma 2 is equal to n2 to 1 upon n1 rho 2 the same formula you have to use for determination of that now for this practical you have to take the sample that is sls sodium lauryl sulfate that is one example of surfactant or surface active agent so we have to determine the cmc value of sls for that you have to prepare different different concentration of sls solution see that first you have to prepare 100 ml of 1% weight upon volume of sls surfactant solution in distilled water this is used as a stock solution from this stock solution you have to prepare 50 ml which contains 0 0.05, 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 1% weight upon volume solution. After preparations of that, <coughs> you have to find out the surface tension of each solution using the same instrument that is stalagmometer uh, by using drop count method. After calculations, you have to plot a graph by taking surface tension on y axis and concentration of surfactant at x axis on x axis from that graph you have to find out what will be the optimum concentration of surfactant that means sls by using this formula so this is the observation table see that this is the concentration of surfactant number of drops of surfactant and here you have to take mean number every time last practical we have seen that you have to take the mean number of number of drops so mean number of drops of surfactant then density of water density of sls and surface tension this is surface tension of water that is already fixed 72.89 per centimeter now suppose you got the value like this see that concentration of surfactant you have prepared 0 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and 1% weight upon volume and you got the number of drops in cases of water 40 uh, sorry in cases of 0% uh, that means only water 40 0.05% 0, 0 weight upon volume um, SLS solution the number of drops 54 like that for every concentration you have to determine the number of drops see that concentration increasing the number of drops is also increasing and after some time here in cases of 0 0.2 the maximum number of drops we got and after that again we are increasing the concentration of surfactant but the number of drops decreasing if your result comes like this that means your practical is okay you, have, uh, you will get the exact result okay see that surface tension decreasing so number of drops is also increasing that means surface tension is decreasing okay now the density of water that is fixed after calculation we got the value 0 0.988 and for every solution you have to calculate the density okay then you know the formula by using this formula um, this is the value in cases of 0 0.05 concentration the surface tension is this like this 0.1% 39.18 for 0.2 percent surface tension is 23.78 so like this after calculation of this you have to plot a graph by taking concentration of surfactant that means sls in x axis and surface tension on y axis see that put all that value you will get a curve like this you save from this this point this is the least number of drops and surface tension is so much less here this point you have to extrapolate up to x axis so see that 0 0.2 so that means cmc that means critical missile concentration when it will be 0 0.2 missile formation will start so we can say that 0 0.2 weight upon volume this is the value of cmc see that report here the surface tension of given concentration of surfactants are given like this. Now, in cases of 0 0.2, the surface tension is 23.78. So, the CMC value is 23.78 dyne per centimeter. And for performing this practical, you can follow this book, Martin Physical Pharmacy or Physical Pharmacy by CBS Subramaniam. Thank you.